Good morning, DHS. My name is Shafay Salomon, and I'm running to be your class president for the 2022-2023 school year. These past few years have been difficult for all of us, as this is the first time we experienced a full in-person school year since the 2018-2019 school year, which was three years ago. We all worked together and pulled through to return to what has been as close to normal as we've seen in a long, long time. As a result, everything has been coming back together slowly but surely. And while there were many questions at the beginning of the year about what activities we were or were not able to participate in, for example, the uncertainty for a junior prom, it all ended up working out. Looking ahead to next year, the DHS community is going to need a leader who understands what his people need and who will act accordingly. We have made many improvements this year. For example, the testing center availability after school has really helped everyone, especially students who did not have as many free periods in their schedule to make up assessments for their missed classes. This is a great example of adhering to the needs of both students and staff at Darien High School. To be able to continue these trends, DHS is going to need an understanding leader next year. Individuals who have shown leadership experience make for the best leaders, as they are the ones who know how to act for the better of their people and have experienced doing so. I feel as though I meet all the requirements, which makes for a great leader. I have my fair share of leadership experience, as I was a 2023 Community Council class officer for the past two years, representing the junior class's needed. In addition, I'm the president of the Finance Club and the vice president of the DECA Club, where I further develop my leadership skills for the betterment of my club members, as well as refined important communication skills and a sense of accountability, both of which are vital for a leader's success. If elected, no matter what circumstances arise, I intend to do whatever it takes for the betterment of our DHS community. I will make all of our voices heard and do everything in my power to make any changes that will benefit all of us. Thank you everyone for taking the time to listen to what I have to say and hopefully I will see you all next year as your 2022-2023 class president. Thank you. Hi DHS, my name is Ruthie Miller, and I'm running to be your student body president for the 2022 to 2023 school year. We've finally gotten back into the swing of things with the ending of the mask mandate and all sports and clubs are back full time. If you don't know me, I'm a part of many clubs and activities at the school. I play field hockey, ice hockey, and golf, am a member of community council, a member of Post 53, and do various other activities. Being such an active person in the community means that I'm a part of a lot of different circles, and I bring the suggestions and opinions of many different groups of people to the school. I promise that any one of you could come to me with the problems that you have. I want to be an available resource, especially in troubling times. Being a leader at this school is extremely important to me, and as student body president, I would help to organize group activities that highlight inclusion, mental health, diversity, and more. For the upcoming seniors, I would focus on prom, the 100-day dinner, homecoming, and graduation. I want to make the 2023 school year once remembered and embrace a more normal year despite COVID. If you choose me as your president, I promise to be an outlet for any suggestions or concerns you might have and make a change at DHS. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Sophie Shu, and I'm running to be your student body president. I'm just like all of you. I'm a sleep deprived high school student trying my best to balance between extracurriculars and a ton of homework. But I've got what it takes. I'm experienced, creative, and so excited to put in the time and effort necessary to create an unforgettable high school experience. So what qualifies you for this position? Well, I'm the first junior to ever become a DECA president, and I've been a yearbook editor since my sophomore year. I have dedicated my past three years to improving DHS through legislation and fun events as part of community council. I was a class officer my freshman and sophomore years, and I'm currently your executive director of communications. All those fun little Instagram and Snapchat posts, that was me. I've increased social media usage by over 12 times this year. On top of that, I have organized many fundraisers and events, such as St. Patrick's Grams, Blue Wave Passport, Pi Teacher, and most recently, I organized the Bake Sale for Ukraine where we raised almost $1,600 in a day. I've also helped to plan events such as homecoming, prom, and trunk or treat. So, now I know a little bit about what I have done, so I'll talk about what I intend to do. I want to continue increasing communication between students and administration through monthly student feedback forums. I want to hear your ideas, your complaints, your opinions, and what you want to see to make your high school experience a dream come true. On top of that, I want to plan fun events for you guys. 
I want to plan a trunk or treat again, and there can never be enough spirit days. I'd also like to bring back field day and a homecoming dance. I'm not here to offer you empty promises. I'm here to deliver results. I serve you. And as your student body president, I'll be dedicated to improving DHS one step at a time. Vote for Sophie Shu. Let's make this school brand new. Hi, I'm Kasia Jimma Padmore and I'm running for community council president. I believe I'd make an excellent president because I know exactly what it takes to be a successful one. After being a part of community council for three years and serving on the executive board as secretary, I've learned many leadership skills that have given me insight and experience on what it truly takes to be a responsible and trustworthy leader. Additionally, as president, I'll be receptive to the ideas and concerns of the student body. It is my job to be your voice and the only way I could successfully represent you is if I'm open to hearing your concerns and suggestions. As president, I will help to create a more fun and inclusive school environment by creating more pep rallies, better spirit days, and organizing school events that will bring students and faculty together to embrace an inclusivity and positivity. I trust you, the student body, to make an important decision, not on popularity, but on a leader who you believe can truly help make the school a better place. I hope that you'll see that I am the best candidate for this job. Thank you so much, and I hope that you'll vote for Kasia Jima Padmore as the next Community Council President. My main role as Vice President of Community Council is to make high school feel more like high school. For the past few years, we've had to deal with COVID-19, and as a result, we, as a student body, have missed out on countless high school experiences. With most of the student body boosted and vaccinated, it is time to start reclaiming these high school experiences. One of the first things that I will do as vice president is to foster more school spirit in the DHS community. In order to create more school spirit, I'll try to bring back major school events, such as the bonfire that used to be held at the beginning of each year. I will also try to create more recognition for athletic teams. Finally, I'll try to represent the student body's beliefs and goals as best as possible. Please come to me with any questions or suggestions that you may have regarding my role in community council. Thank you. Hello, I'm Anusha Narang and I'm running for vice president. You may remember me from the last three years or an occasional advisory video, or maybe your brain has decided to delete me from your memory, which is completely understandable. But I've been a class officer for the class of 2023 since freshman year. If that doesn't ring a bell, I've also managed to incorporate a very cheesy and slightly embarrassing Disney quote into every single one of my speeches for three consecutive years, which, if you really think about it, is a skill. But other than that, I've done a couple of things for the student body as class officer. I've expanded the hours of the testing center so that it's easier to make up tests, and I'm currently working on making sure that food during fourth lunch stays warm to make having fourth lunch slightly more tolerable. I've worked on a bake sale to support Ukraine, planning junior prom, and the holiday grand fundraiser that took place in December. I'd like to continue working for the student body, and some things I'd do next year as vice president would be to hold a school-wide scavenger hunt and potentially getting vending machines that work with school IDs. As vice president, I'd continue to make changes to improve our school environment, and continue to be a messenger on behalf of the student body. Whether you have an idea for an event, a complaint, or something else, I'll be there to listen and advocate for it. I also promise to stop ending speeches with Disney, cheesy Disney quotes starting after this one. Let's go to infinity and beyond. Vote for Anusha Narang for vice president. Hi, my name is Jack Calvi. I'm currently a sophomore at DHS and I'm running for the position of communications director on the executive board of the community council. I am qualified for this position because I have experience using social media and I can very easily communicate with the whole student body. The communication between the administration and the student body is very important to me and I think that it is something that we can work on as a school. As communications director, I will work to communicate all school events to students via social media. This includes snow days, delays, assemblies, early closings, and advisory days. Thank you for listening and I look forward to next year. Good morning, DHS. My name is Griffin Acevedo, and I'm running to be your communications director for the 2022-23 school year. As your communications director, I want to be a ball of sunshine and a burst of joy for anyone. 
I understand that many of us have had a year of hardships and responsibilities, but I'm here to help by bringing us all closer together. I would provide clear communication between the council and community to make sure that each individual voice is heard. I would also hear the community's opinions on fundraisers, activities, and other school events that we could do, while also providing an open hand that you can talk to. I fit this position perfectly because I'm committed to planning and organizing events that will better help our community fit together. I would also continue communication with the community outside of school through the Instagram and Snapchat. I hope you consider voting for me because this community needs someone as passionate as I am to continue to hold our connection together and build it up some more. Thank you. Good morning, DHS. I'm Kira O'Brien, I'm a junior, and I'm running for executive secretary. I'm very passionate about DHS and would love to contribute my ideas and goals for our community. I believe I will be a good fit for this position because I'm extremely organized and coordinated and I work well with others. As executive secretary, I will be extremely committed to contributing opinions and points of view to the community council. I will fulfill the needs of the position by taking thorough and detailed notes at all community council meetings helping to coordinate community council sponsored events and listening to the wants and needs of the DHS student body. I hope you recognize my passion for this position and consider voting for me for the role of executive secretary. Thank you. Hi, my name is Carol Luciano and I'm running to be secretary of community council. For the past two years, I have been a class representative for the class of 2024. During that time, I have created lunch surveys, created video segments that show during advisory, helped lead class assemblies, and regularly taken meeting notes. I believe that this experience, as well as my organizational and leadership qualities, allow me to be the best person for this job. I'd be honored to be elected as Secretary of Community Council to further my role in creating a positive and inclusive community here at DHS. You should vote for me to be the Secretary of Community Council because I'm the right person to do the job. Thank you and vote Chiara Luciano for Secretary. Hello, my name is Philippa Morgan. Thank you for electing me as one of your freshman officers. I have a proposal for you. You want to hear it? Well, here it is. Being on community council this past fall has been a highlight of my freshman year and an honor. Thank you so much. I especially like helping and planning the social events, and I am currently developing a playlist for the upcoming spring dance. I hope you guys are excited. One of my campaigning promises last fall was to bring some puppies this spring around exam time for therapy to help student, students de-stress. I am working on developing this. I pr this promise, sorry. And I have contacted several canine and puppy organizations. Once I, I am approved, I will hold a fundraiser bake sale to pay for it. Once this event happens successfully, I will work to make this a regular current event that the student body looks forward to each year. Hope this can happen. One more idea for our class to go, our class to go on a sophomore sophomore trip to help build 2025 class spirit and blue wave pride go blue wave this will help make up for the fact that we missed our boston trip in middle school boo covid it could be a big trip to somewhere like boston hopefully or a smaller trip like a event at Weed Beach. I hope you guys vote for me. I have a voice and I have your voice and I hopefully have your vote. Thank you for your time to listening to all of the candidates, especially me.
Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys so much. Bye. Is the pandemic over? Hopefully. But the pandemic has taught us something very important. Not just to you or me, but to the whole world. It has taught us that we are extremely interdependent on each other. It has taught us the value of relationships. It has taught us the value of community. And it has taught us that life is about supporting each other. It's about building each other through thick and thin. We need to continue to strengthen our amazing community. Thank you for your confidence in electing me. This year was the first time in our history that we did Trunk or Treat, but that's just the beginning. As I win your continued confidence, I will relentlessly work with passion to help flourish the community that we are. Hi everybody, my name is Grace Sandoval. I'm a student here at DHS, and it would be a genuine honor to be your class representative. Sometimes it can feel like there's a real disconnect between the community council and the rest of us. We barely get any updates and it's hard to get a real idea of what they're working on. I'd like to fix that. I'll write monthly progress reports and post them to the big monitors. The council's current structure also leaves us wondering if and where our voices fit in. I will always be available through emails or even just in the halls to stop, listen, and to work on the changes you'd like to see. I've spent some time with the subcommittee to support Ukraine, and what that means is I've learned how to organize and run events and make real, effective changes. At its heart, the Community Council should work for us and with us. If you're interested in that, making the Community Council work for its community and with its community, I consider voting for me. Thank you.